Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to episode 7 of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. We've got three tip priests in our cohort now. And we've got some extra units. Oh look, we've actually got Barkham up on the left there. We've got a Vanguard, we've got a Servitor, we've got a Ranger, and got a Rustorker. Um, so, I'm pretty sure we can get some upgrades on one of these guys. We'll see, he's on four, six, five. Let's upgrade him. Rank four, he's got one bit of armor on him. Let's get another thing. Oh, he's already got that one as well. He's got the range and the cog producer. That's cool. Hmm, where's the... What do you want to do? Let's do this one. I'll get him trained up to be our, our healer. Alright, so we've got one spare slot in our augments. Uh, we've got the Croatia Claw already. We've got an axe and that gun. Put that other gun in there. Oh, Sanctus can start could be handy. Or a scanner. Let's do a scanner. Help with an extra bit of CP. Right, 139 left. I don't think we're going to be able to do any more upgrades. So, let's see what missions we got. Uh, still to do that one. And that one. This is a new one. So, we've got another Curatio. Level 1 Vanguard. Oh, Alpha Vanguard, even. Okay, that's the Flamer. That's the boss fight. That's the apparently easy one. Okay, so, one do one of these, definitely. Uh, I think we're going to do this one. We're going to get this gun. It's a pretty good gun. And that refractive field generator is really quite handy, little, little doodad. So, let's do that. Got three tech priests in. What should we go for? Let's go for two fodder. I'm gonna see what a single tech four to six damage. Two to four. Let's get back. He packs a bit more of a punch. Ah, did we get some more? God, we've got lots of canticles to choose from. Let's get the energy one in there. So we've got one that's dealing extra physical damage, one that's dealing extra energy. We've got one to restore some HP. Sounds of emergency. Cool. Team of Agrilek. Blasphemous tirade of heresy from the mind of the Xenos. Necrons are putting out some wafty communications. Cut out the tongue and be clean. Cool. of malediction. Thank you, dokes. Oh, here we go. So we've got, got two diamonds and we've got one of these rooms as well. So, these rooms with the red enemies in. Uh, optional. You don't have to go in these rooms. If you do take on these uh, encounters and you come out of it the other side again, you win. You'll get extra reduction on your awakening level. Um, so you don't normally want to go straight to this one. But it is quite handy when you've got more than one encounter going, like we have now. We've got two diamonds. Um, we can do that one, which will give us a third encounter, but it will really help knock our awakening level down a lot. 
So I think the route here is quite simple. We're going to go along. No. Primary transmission is particularly intense in this region of the tomb. To the extent it is damaging the cohort's communications, something must be done to keep them combat effective. Deafen. Shut down the cohort's new spherical augmentations to deafen them to the transmission. It basically means turn off the, the audio receptors. Debug. Enact a temporary alteration of cohort's augmentations to render them immune to the transmission. Counteract the binary heresy with a lingua technis prayer session. I'm gonna go for debug, I think. Not a fan of prayer. The cohort's augmentations are remotely reprogrammed to filter out the Necron's transmissions. The heretical transmissions are reduced to a background echo, and the victory of Mechanica's intellect over Xenos blasphemy is made clear. Oh, brilliant. Cool. Does that work? Decrease a little bit of awakening. Oh, initiative, I think, not awakening. But it's all good. Vacuum itself is not an issue to our cohort, but when the room becomes depressurized, it could be negative effects. Okay, so the chamber ahead is sealed behind a doorway resembling the airlock from a ship. Ospec scanners confirm the chamber itself is full of hard vacuum. Unfortunately, it is the only way ahead. So we've got to depressurize this, Sarah. One way or the other. So how are we going to do it? Breach. Open the airlock door and weather the consequences in the name of speed. That's pretty hardcore. Bleed. Try to safely let the air gradually into the chamber until it's safe to open. Plant explosives on the door, retreat to a safe distance and detonate. I think breach in the name of speed, I think that's going to be a bit hasty. Bleed could be a good one. That's going to take a while. Blasting could be bad, but I'm like a good explosion. Go up, plants remote explosive and falls back outside the glass zone. They detonate the door and are safe from the explosive recompression of the vacuum chamber. Though they have averted any damage, the Necrons begin to home in on the noise of the detonation. Yeah, so they can hear the noise we made, but we've not like, wasted a load of time. We've got an extra couple of CP. That's another great result. So, oh look, we got we got a bar of six on now. Yes, yeah, so we got back from the last mission, didn't we? We got an extra one. Brilliant. So we've only got two to work with at the moment, but at least we've got space to, to earn a few more. Kill all enemies. Cool. A simple objective. Let's have a look where we all are. Bring that guy a bit closer. Getting these guys as close to this little path here as possible. Now we can get a. Nah, we, we get a servitor in, I guess, but he's not going to have enough movement to even reach that far. Last, see what we're dealing with. Oh, we've got a scanner. What about reach? No. Right, so. Ah, oh, then we're not even going to make it all the way to him in that move. This isn't good. I don't want to leave them out in the open there. Let's get them right in there. Use our reducer. I can do much damage. She's got the physical shield, but at least uh, pepper away at them a little bit. movement. Brilliant. So reduce uh 
So he's only on two health now, so he's got two opportunity attacks he's going to get provoked by. So I don't have to worry about him now. Yeah, end his turn. Yep. Get Magnaris up here to have a little pop at this flayed one. We're in there? Oh, we can. Brilliant. Let's have a juice on. Okay, is there any more? Yeah, there's one more. Brilliant. Get every scrap of CP we can. It's got some range on it. Blimey, I didn't think that'd be close enough. One. Let's get a servitor in there, get a little bit of fodder because all these units starting to move up now. Let's shoot. Oh, I wonder if we can get a cog point from him. No. I'm going to shoot this one, get it, get it done and gone. Don't have to worry about it. I think we're going to move right up in their face. So we're going to like lose a cog point with the movement, but we're going to gain one as so we're walking right past uh, the cog terminal. And our machine spirit's all charged here, you see, so. Decent attack in there. I wonder if we can use our scanner to get. There we go. Get an extra CP. Cool. So I've left a little gap in the middle there for this other guy to get in the combat. So physical attack is going to be good. Three damage, not quite what we're after. Oh, I'm going to heal him up. He's almost lost the most HP. We've still got at least what four units here, and we've got two glowy doorways. So probably gonna possibly gonna get another two. Alright, end that turn. I don't really wanna waste that attack, but he can't get in there to attack those guys, so I may as well. I can use my blaster to get rid of that one. Um, let's get him in a bit of cover because if he stands there he's, he's going to be possibly open to some attack and he's just not going to do any good oh, let's get him healed up as well kill cool. Okay. 
get Crane any more than just yet. I'm gonna go for this one, because I know what we're dealing with with that one, health-wise. There you go. Brilliant. Right, let's use it on that, so we're dealing with physical shield. Okay. Um, cleanse him of the acid. Now... Do we risk the opportunity attack just to get a shot in with the blaster? I don't think we do. Let's heal him. Let's get the extra cock point. Okay, I'm going to use this Sanctus Canister. Give us a bit of extra damage and crit chance. Here's what two left here. One, two, yep. Two buckers, this guy can. I'm going to get him in there, provoke the opportunity. It's not going to be terribly good, but I'm going to open up a gap for the next guy to get in there. And it's going to hold this guy up with some melee range combat. Um, do I get acid here yeah, so he can cleanse himself as well? It's good we got two with the cleanse on. It's quite handy. Just have this guy. Get a shot off first. Oh no, he can't can't shoot in between the two guys there. So let's get a shot off on him. Let's get in there for some melee. We haven't got reduce. Uh, let's get that last CP. Just before I forget. Thing. Do we? No, we don't. We're all right. She's our reducer, just save the CP. CP. Let's move forward a little bit. Get a shot in on this guy with the stats. And we're going to be cheeky and we're going to get in harvest some this blackstone. And get some extra CP. not going to do any damage for looks things not to two it might do one or two but it's going to strip his armor down a bit which is still good he definitely needs to heal I 
I think we can do this. We got a reducer. There we go. Yeah, got five damage that time. It's knocking that armor down a bit makes a big difference. again. Okay, there's a scanner. Yep, nice. Just an extra one. Servo skull, get another one. Gives the other guys a little something more to play with. Well, we have to heal him by ready, aren't we? keep him there because if I don't move these guys he can't move or do anything yeah just play it safe This one here, if he tries to move into that gap, I think he'll trigger an opportunity attack from that guy. And possibly from the... No, he's not going to be moving past them, is he? Let's just get the one. Oh, still not bad. Still not bad. Any CP to get? No. Can I heal a bit? Let's heal him instead. Needs it more. Two. Ah, oh, that's a bit pants. Damage absorbed, yes, nice. I'm gonna work on that terminal a bit, see if I can maybe destroy that one of these guys. So I don't think it's gonna take all three of them to kill this last Necron. So what's he on? He's on two now, yeah, brilliant. He's gone down. Right, gonna skip his go quick. Yeah, I can do that, yep. I was worried I was gonna use my last CP up, but the um, towers have come back, the terminal things. I've got servo skulls, so we're okay. We're okay. This guy. Brilliant. Cool. The Castus Metallicans cogitators. Have completed a translation subroutine. The Necron transmission can be deciphered. Segregate quarantine the translation so it can be studied later by properly trained tech priests. Obliterate. Delete the translation from the cogitators unread. Nothing good can come from reading the words of the Xenos. Yeah. Evaluate. Read the translation immediately. It may contain valuable intelligence. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. 
From the stars avoid Admiral Voyages, to the stars we sail. Every shore we set foot upon shall yield naught but conquest. So the dynasty triumphs, so the Necron tear rise again. Kester Patelikan continues to decipher transmissions from the tomb of Agrilek. Ascertaining the Void Admiral is a reference to Agrilek himself. The nature of the Necron tier and their relationship with the Necrons is still unknown. Alright, so let's just charge in there. Green one, lovely job, Lee. Give us the good stuff. Cool. Let's take this next encounter on. Alright, kill all enemies again. Ah, oh, look, we've started with some CP this time at least. Right, so, this guy's got the most health, so I'm going to put him on the front line there. One more enemy here. Two over here. These guys really need to be a bit more in this direction. Trying to keep them out of line of sight. Um, who should we get in for some support? Let's get the Vanguard dude in there. Behind there for now. Alright, it's an interesting move. Moved away from combat. <laughs> oh crap, I thought that little thing was going to protect me, but obviously not. I thought it was a bit taller. Oh dear. It's first things first, guys. There's some healing going on. Let's just shoot that and see what the stats are. Physical, okay. So... If I put him there, he's going to block the path to get around the corner there. So we'll plonk him here. Okay, oh, that's in range as well. A couple of CP. Thanking you, thanking you. Right. Give that guy a bit of a clean. Cleanse. Heal. Oh yeah, if I try and walk past it, it's going to get the opportunity anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. So this next base attack. Skip the gunfight then. Use his Sanctus canister, gives a little bit of extra damage and crit chance. Use a producer. Click on the cog points and clicked on the bloody guy I've already got the stats off. Wasted. Oh well. Stats and frassums. Okay for CP so far. How 
can we? So I'm looking at this guy down here. I move his vanguard up to this spot here. Apparently, it can, is that because it's, okay, it's sloped? Maybe it's because it's sloped. I would have thought that's cover there. Guess not. Now, I could move him into cover, but I kind of want him to take the shot from this guy rather than the tech priests. Even though he's not cannon for the servitor, he's still less precious than a tech priest. Um. Yeah. Let's get one servitor in there. Back him up a bit. He's probably going to get another one come out of that door at some point. We want to be ready for it. One to three. Oh, did the job. Yes. Yes. Just get him up, up here and help out. This dude's um kind of see him from there. Quick quick sheep shot on him before I move in. Oh yeah, one swipe, brilliant. Um, yeah, we're only going to end up with plus one. Oh, I thought we had to spend one to get in there. Obviously not. Brilliant. Um, why can we start moving him then? Oh yeah, good job, servitor. Yeah, let's just use the melee attack on that, get rid of it. Now move them up next to this necron. Get the old um, opportunity attack provoked. Let's get him in there and do the business. Business done. Cleanse our buddy here. You see, he's got the green, nasty bits coming from him. Get cheap shot on this warrior. That's um, heal is quite low. Service go. So let's get another CP back. So we're not gonna do any rash moves to this guy. Different 
need to get a CP back. I'd like to use it to heal him, but I'm probably going to need it for another guy. Both of them, maybe? Both of them? Yep. Brilliant. It's kind of up for fodder. Perfect. damage but he's got him locked in melee combat now. That's kind of what we want. Well, we're going to skip him for now. We're going to skip him because he's blocked by this guy. his armor down a bit so I hope that we should start making some progress with this warrior now. Oh, so then we can move our vanguard to clear the weight for our, our last tech priest here. Oh, now we could have killed that guy but I've still got this tech priest to move down here. There we go. Opportunity attack done it anyway. So I would have just I would have shot him with the blaster from that guy. He can't actually move anywhere. Can I get a shot on the scanner? No. As soon as he can't do anything else, let's just shoot that Necron out of the way. That's pretty much him done, isn't it? I don't think it's going to reach there, but we could maybe do it from here. Brilliant, jobs are good. Enough. Cheap shot on them from there. Let's see how far around we can walk. We've got three CP to play with here. So use one for that movement. Oh, we haven't got a servo skull. Still. We can still use our reducer here. I'm just going to save that one we've got left. It's the last enemy on the board, isn't it? No more glowy doors. Cool. Don't worry about that one just yet. Don't want to worry about that one just yet. I want to use this one. and blow up this terminal just to um because we're already on three here and we've got another one combat to take on although we're going to get some more awakening from completing this this tomb whether we destroy the terminal or not three to five are we going to do it are we going to do it no Move them out of the way in case someone else can get the line of sight in. I 
Let me come here with uh sword. I oh, probably hit him with his, his gun as a movement reduction. That's what it would have been. CP, do I don't know? It's not. Cause that terminal gone. So you see we're on three here without any more on the bar. Let's see what we um what we end up with. Let's try and do this as smartly as we can. Let's heal this chap a bit before we go into our next bit of combat. There you go, he's a bit, a bit healthier now. See, though that's not killing him, that's knocked his armor down. So when he tries to move away from us, we're definitely going to get the opportunity to attack and hopefully we might just nobble him. a bit tough. Alright, so I'm free with one bar. At some point it's going to test. We've got minus awakening. There we go. Awakening reduced by three. So, like I said, you do these encounters with red enemies on the map. And even if you don't kill the terminal or destroy the terminal within the level, you, you still get awakening reduction. So we're really good at knocking it down. See, we're on, we were on three with one bar, so it's not just down to to two with three. So it knocks down one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, it took three. It says minus three, doesn't it, idiot? Right. So last encounter. Is it actually going to be an encounter, or is it going to be jobs done? Let's see. It's going to be a proper encounter. Okay. It's been a few episodes ago we had two diamonds, but the second one wasn't actually an encounter. It, I don't know what it was, to be honest. It just said you've done it, mission complete. Right. So let's get these guys as far forward as we can. Oh, he hasn't got much health, bless him, but let's get him in there anyway. So we had some, we had a full bar of CP there to play with. So we're going to do scan or destroy. Let's find... I didn't even look beforehand. Oh, it's all the way over here. Wonderful. Okay. So let's heal. Our Vanguard guy up first. So, Leonardus. I'm trying to keep him out of the way of this guy here. No shield, brilliant. Here's a scanner job. And servo scout, double up on that CP goodness. Use the reducer. Right, 
Jeremiah, you don't need too much healing. Let's do it anyway, we're just to top you up, I guess. Dude on five. Do three to five. Do we use the canister? Yeah, let's use it. Let's get the guarantee kill. Oh, producer, producer. Save that CP. There you go. Obliterated. Alright, oh, sneak one down here. We got. Oh, it's only for one. Oh, not one, there's two, isn't it? There's that one and that one, that's it. Okay. Not as much CP on this map. Can we get from there? No. Just get them in there. Why not? Portion of a wind, use up a lot of my stuff here. Right, let's get the blaster in. Get that little bit of damage. Get right up in his face. Servo skull CP. Let's produce uh, chop him up. Now, even though our mission is scan or destroy, I've got a funny feeling that when we get to that terminal and scan it, they're probably going to ask us to kill all enemies. So, we will kind of try to do that along the way. Take us a while to get there. Yep, not today, thank you. Now, should we go for here? Yeah, let's try and take this, this thing out. This is just going to end up chasing us and zapping us all with his acid. So let's try and deal with him. Nice, took down some armor, gave some good damage. Right, you see this guy's got the green acid, glowy stuff coming from him. Just get him cleansed. Love to heal, but oh, I've got canticles. 
Ah, do our next song. CP whilst we can. Thanking you. Let's push him forward. Um. Yeah, just leave him there for now. I think. So we're gonna get a bit of healing on. So we're on the, uh, we're in the last encounter now, so we want to try and heal some of these guys when we get out so we don't lose as much blackstone. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. I just wonder whether I can push all the way up to that the big guy up the top there. So we're probably not far off being in range for him. So I think I'm just going to go balls to the wall there. Yeah, go to the side and then it opens up a clear line of sight for anyone else. Oh, here we go. Oh, two of them. Still gonna do it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's a really bad idea. Oh, bomb farts. Thank you, thank you. some canticles now. So these canticles, um, I only like to use them on like the last mission in a tomb. So like this this tomb we've had three. We had the first diamond, the red enemy encounter, and this is our third one. I don't like to waste the canticles on the earlier missions if I can help it. It's much better to save them to the end. So we've got energy shield. Opportunity attack. Any points left in that? No. Okay, dokes. I guess we should reveal some stats on these guys at least. I don't know what we're dealing with. Physical. Okay. Cheeky. Shot in the back. Oh yeah. That's that. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Push everyone up now to help this guy. Two, that's not too bad. What are the other two gonna do? I 
kind of quite like to, but uh, I'm going to save the CP. I think I need it. Get these guys into the combat. Scanner? Yeah, he's got the scanner. So, oh, is that... Ranged weapons? Oh, that counts as a ranged weapon now, does it? Okay. I'm only dealing out three damage, that's not too bad. Is he going to do the same? That's right, these chickens survive for a couple of rounds at least. Right, that's um, oh, I've got another counter guy, I've got for energy, let's do the energy one. This guy's got the physical shield, so I'll take advantage of the energy damage on him. Right, I think we're going to walk him up here. Yeah, Gaff, he's the last one to heal him up, really. I don't want to risk losing him. I mean, he's only getting free damage from that guy, but... What oh, health our guys have got at the end the um well no blackstone we're gonna earn as well, so gotta remember that. Now, is he gonna be a I've only got the one point here. Got no servo skull. That cost us a point to get all the way up there, and we still won't be able to attack. So I think for now, we're going to play that one safe and just leave them there. Use the Vanguard to shoot that one, get him gone. I think Necrons are reanimating in one or two turns now. So we can't let those dead ones lay. That's pathetic. Um, let's stay there. Oh, 
juice up, juice up. Oh yeah, knocked him for six. Bloody awesome. Opportunity. Can't reach. Of course, he nearly can reach. I didn't think there's going to be anywhere near range there. Oh well, that was close. So, see, we're already on four of our awakening level, and we saved three bars by doing that last mission. So, we'd be nearly on five by now if we didn't. That would not be good. Whoa. I'm going to do that. Oh, it's out of range. Just out of range. Right, let's make him in, in range then. There we go. Two. Yeah, why not? Choppy, chop, chop. I was contemplating doing a rush for that scanner earlier just to get it scanned thinking the mission would be done but I was right and they'll, they'll get you to kill all enemies afterwards. Right, mission complete. The cohort comes across a Necron device mounted in a chamber deep in the tomb of Agrilek. They destroy it with extreme prejudice and the binary transmissions immediately halt. Whatever end the team's inhabitants wish to achieve with a mockery of lingua technis, they have been prevented from achieving it. Hoorah! Fully healed, no no loss of blackstone from two of them as a result. But we did get a, a four on the awakening. I think it's the worst so far. Like I said that would probably have been five if we hadn't done that, that extra mission. So oh yeah, we've got a Volkite. Volkite blast is pretty cool. So is that refractor field generator. But next energy attack will deal plus six energy damage. Handy, like it. Next attack will break four physical armor. Next six attacks will ignore all armor. That's pretty sweet. Gain nine cognition points. Plus three energy armor for one round. Blimey. Unlocked a good few canticles there. So, oh, check it out. We're on 824 blackstone. Brilliant. So to start the next episode, we're going to be able to get another few upgrades going. We've got an extra weapon, an extra item, so we can start outfitting our cohort a little bit more effectively and efficiently. It's going to be brilliant. Well, a little bit of a longer one today, guys. I hope that's all right. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave us a like and subscribe if you've been enjoying the content. If you haven't, then don't. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.